In this video, let's take a look at Chiefs versus Bills, the final injury report, give a key to win, final score prediction, and talk about something beyond the media hype of Patrick Mahomes versus Josh Allen that I think is way more important and much freaking more. But first, how about those? What's up, guys? My name is Cole, and I do daily news about the Kansas City Chiefs, so make sure to sub if you're new, hit that like button if the Chiefs are getting a dub, Lord willing, on Sunday, and let's get into this video starting with an injury report. So as far as the Buffalo Bills go, wide receiver Jake Kumaro is out for Sunday. Defensive tackle Jordan Phillips questionable. A notable for the Bills, safety Jordan Poyer. Full participant on Friday, should be good to go for Sunday. Um, that's good news. For the Bills secondary, especially with Micah Hyde out for the season, Jordan Poyer is a very good player. So he will be in. Meanwhile, as far as the Chiefs, they have some issues um, in the secondary. So you have Rashad Fenton. He's out for Sunday. Now, some of you may say, well, that's good because he's getting scorched. We don't need Fenton. We'll use McDuffie. Well, McDuffie um, did practice all week, but Coach Reed said this about Trent McDuffie. We'll see about McDuffie. He had a good week of practice, but there's a good chance we rest him up and do not play him. So that means Trent McDuffie is more than likely not playing on Sunday and Rashad Fenton is more than likely not playing on Sunday. Therefore, you will have two rookies in there getting majority of the snaps alongside Legereus Sneed, of course, but you're going to have Joshua Williams, the Chiefs fourth round pick. Okay. He's going to be starting or getting a lot of reps at least. And then you're going to have the seventh round pick Jalen Watson, who has been seeing a lot of action as it is already with uh, Trent McDuffie out. Brian Cook, another rookie, he's out as well. So safety Brian Cook is out. Rashad Fenton's out. Trent McDuffie is more than likely not playing. So you'll still have Juan Thornhill. Looks like Dion Bush is going to more than likely be stepping up with Brian Cook out. And then of course, Justin Reed, so the safeties, for the most part, are looking fine. Cornerback room is looking very light. Now, some of you may be excited about Joshua Williams getting some reps. I mean, my mindset is this. Give Joshua Williams reps early. Like, earlier in the season, get that experience under your belt because later in the season, postseason, like, all these reps that he's going to get now is going to matter. This game does not matter in the grand scheme of things. Both teams are 4-1. and one. So, yeah, whoever wins on Sunday will have the best record in the AFC. But if the Chiefs come out 4-2, and two, is that really that bad? Considering who they have played <laughs> so far this season? Uh, no. But either way, someone's going to come out 5-2. and 5-1, and one, sorry. The other team's going to come out 4-2. and two. I would prefer the Chiefs to be 5-1. and one, A nice little cushion. It's going to be tough either way. The defensive line, you know, Tershawn Wharton's out. Frank Clark did practice today and should be good to go for Sunday. To what extent will Frank Clark play? I don't know. He's been battling a chronic sickness that is uh, debilitating him, and it sucks, man. I will say this. Here's some good news. Harrison Butker will kick on Sunday. That's per the words of Andy Reid at his presser today. And in a game where every single point is going to matter, we need Harrison Butker out there. Let's not sugarcoat it. So I just hope he is indeed well enough to kick and that not affect his accuracy or anything like that. But in a game where it's probably going to be high scoring and every point on offense matters, it's very good, guys, that we have Harrison Butker back in action. So I do like that. Now, where my mind is sort of sitting with this game, the media is painting it Josh Allen versus Patrick Mahomes. But let's be honest. It's going to be the Bills offense versus the Chiefs defense. That's absolutely going to be the deciding factor of the game. What do you mean by that, Cole? Well, no matter what, the Chiefs are going to put up points. It doesn't matter. The Bills had a great defense last year, and Patrick Mahomes absolutely shredded them. Scored 42 points on them when I believe they had never allowed 30 more than 30 points all last season. Don't quote me on that one, but it's pretty close to that. The real question is, how many points... <laughs> is the Chiefs' defense going to allow, especially with a light secondary? Because Patrick Mahomes and company can put up 30, they can put up 35, they can put up 40, but what if the Chiefs' defense allows 42? What if the Chiefs' defense allows 45? Since Mahomes has been a starter 
for the team. 2018, 17 losses is what the Chiefs have had. Okay, I think a couple of those losses, they've seeded some of their starters. Maybe Mahomes was even injured for a couple of them because I don't think Mahomes doesn't have 17 losses. But since 2018, the Chiefs have 17 losses. Listen to this stat real quick. The Chiefs offense scored an average of 27.8 points per game in all of those losses. Meanwhile, their defense allowed an average of 33.5 points points per game. The Chiefs basically to lose a game, they have to score just under 30 points while the defense has allowed an average of 33.5. So if the Chiefs put up 35 points against the Bills, statistically they're going to win. So I know the media is painting it Allen versus Mahomes, but it's really how well Spags' defense is going to hold up against the Bills offense because the Chiefs offense is going to put up points. Here's some stats for you guys that I'm going to kind of read back and forth. Josh Allen has the best passer rating in the NFL when under pressure. Guess who has the number two passer rating when under pressure? Patrick Mahomes. The Bills offense has averaged 30.4 points per game. They've scored 18 TDs, which is second in the NFL. The Chiefs are at the top of that, averaging 31.8 points per game and have scored 20 TDs this season. And that's the best in the NFL. The Chiefs offense scores a TD on 78% of drives in the red zone, I believe, which is third in the league. The Bills only score TDs in the red zone on 55.6% of their drives, which is 21st in the league, but that's because the Bills lead the league in passing yards that involve plays greater than 20 yards, with 532 yards total from those plays that are 20 yards or greater, and they have six passes over 40 yards, which leads the league. So yeah, they don't score in the red zone as much, because they don't have to get into the red zone as much to even score. Again, stats aren't everything, but if we thought the Raiders were throwing over our heads, uh, we're in for some trouble with the Bills if we don't play for the long ball on almost every single down. Last week, I think it was a 98-yard TD thrown to to Gabe Davis on a third down from their own two-yard line. They do not care. They will throw it deep no matter what. Now, listen to this. The Bills' defense has only allowed an average of 12.2 points per game. Let me read that again. The Bills' defense has only allowed an average of 12.2 points per game, while the Chiefs' defense has allowed over double that with an average of 25 points per game. This is why I'm saying it's Josh Allen and company versus the Chiefs' defense. The Chiefs' defense has allowed an, allowed an average of 25 points per Per game. The Bills defense is 50% at stopping TDs in the red zone, ninth in the league, while the Chiefs defense gives up a TD in the red zone 81% of the time, guys. Four out of five drives. The Chiefs defense are allowing TDs in the red zone. That's 31st in the NFL. Chiefs allow a score on 41% of drives, while the Bills defense allow a score on 22% of their drives. As far as takeaways go, the Chiefs have four takeaways this season. That's an average of 0.8 takeaways per game. The Bills have 11, an average of 2.2 per game. It's also worth noting that the Bills have the highest pressure rate without blitzing in the NFL. They're having a heyday against teams without even having to blitz. Chiefs pass defense has allowed a 105.5 rating, 12 TDs, and only have one interception, along with a 69.3 completion rate. Jalen Watson, however, he's been the best cornerback on the team. Now, he has given up three touchdowns, but he's the only Kansas City DB this season involved in at least five targets with a rating allowed of under triple digits. So he's allowed a 75.4 rating against him and a completion rate of 53.1. Jalen Watson has been the best corner in some of these stats. Now, obviously, Sneed's playing really well, has three sacks, but we're going to... We're going to struggle a little bit in some areas against the Bills. If we do not get pressure on Josh Allen with the front four from the inside, if Chris Jones and company, Colin Saunders, those guys aren't able to get to Allen and pressure him, Allen's going to potentially have a field day, especially with the Chiefs secondary being thin as they are. We're also down and out without Willie Gay Jr. because he's on his last week of suspension for breaking a vacuum. I'm actually cautiously optimistic, to be honest, guys, that the Chiefs are going to win this game. Uh, Maybe I'm biased and naive as a Chiefs fan, but dude, I was honestly more stressed, like how I feel right now, I was more stressed about the Raiders, okay? I gave a 31 to 24 score prediction for the Raiders because of what the Raiders had on the line. First off, they hate the Chiefs, but second off, it was basically the Raiders' playoff game last Monday night because if they came out of that game one and four, they're chances of making the playoffs are basically nil. Now, the Bills want to revenge. You know, they want to avenge their loss from last year 
divisional playoff game, right? We know how that went. They lost 13 seconds, all that stuff, overtime. I will say this, last time the Chiefs played, Honey Badger had a con got a concussion on like the first drive. Totally jacked up the secondary because Honey Badger was in control of the secondary. Josh Allen did what he wanted with the Chiefs secondary, but Mahomes did what he wanted as well against arguably the, t the best defense, top three defense in the league last year. So again, I'm not so worried about the Chiefs and their offense. I think they're going to do their thing. I think they have a game plan. The Bills defense is pretty much the same defense, same scheme that they've been running for the past few years, very zone heavy. I think the Chiefs are going to have uh, some answers for that. I think they're going to run the ball a bit more. I think CH is going to have a bit of a day. I think Isaiah Pacheco is going to have a bit of a day. One, two punch combo. Let's freaking go. We saw what they did against the Bucks. They know how to run the ball and the Bills you know, they're not going to want to give up the big play. Probably going to have light boxes. They are able to get pressure on the QB without blitzing. They're not going to blitz Mahomes much. They're not idiots. So I think the Chiefs are going to do well on offense. The question is, how are they going to do on defense against the Bills? Because the Bills are going to put up points on almost every drive. Can they hold them to field goals instead of touchdowns? Can they get a turnover? Maybe two. Can they get some pressure on Allen, especially from the middle of the line? As far as a score prediction goes, I'm going to go Chiefs 38 Bills 35. Could the Chiefs lose this game? Yes. But could the Bills lose this game? Yes. Patrick Mahomes, Andy Reid, Travis Kelsey, they have the tools to be able to win this game. I realize everybody in the league is picking the Bills to win. I realize this is the best team the NFL has ever seen in the history. In the league's history, right? I get it. I get what they're saying. Blah, blah, blah. But dude, I have basically one key. The Chiefs defense has to stop Josh Allen on at least a couple drives. I mean, if they don't, the Bills are putting up over 40. I don't see how not. What do you guys think of that? You got to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. How key is this? Josh Allen versus the Chiefs defense. When you take into consideration the Chiefs average points per game allowed and some of those things that I broke down in the video, you got to let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below, and we will fight about it down there per usual. Trust me, I'm here for all the freaking smoke. Make sure to sub if you haven't, hit that like button, and then check out this video here, pew pew, which is a video that YouTube thinks you're really gonna like, and until next time, let's go, let's freaking go. How about those? Yeah.